Hey everyone, it's Nia, and this is my February monthly setup for my bullet journal. So this month, I decided to do a music theme for my February front month matter stuff. Um, I played the clarinet for eight years, and I just started playing it again, so I wanted to feature my clarinet on my front page, so I drew it and I made the keys shaped in February but I kind of didn't know what to do with the background of the page so I kind of just did these um, music notes and symbols and other things spilling at the bottom and then I did uh, the the staff in the background kind of all twisty don't know how I feel about it um, I messed up a lot of things in this month of February when I was doing this uh, so you're going to hear me complain about all the things I messed up and I would definitely look forward to trying a music theme again in the future um, and doing it better, but uh, yeah, I definitely messed some things up and then I did not like about it, but I really liked how my clarinet turned out in this uh, cover page for the month of February. I thought it was super cute. I just wish I had a better idea for what to do with the rest of the page. I didn't want to leave it as like empty blank space. I like to fill my pages up. Um, but yeah. And I carried through the like staff and music note things all the way throughout. So I used my ruler quite a bit to draw those lines. Um, but yeah, so go my calendar, cover page, I wanted pops of color to do it as well, so that's what I also did. This right here is my uh, sleep tracker page. Um, at the top I have the, I have a grand staff with the treble and bass cleft, and then I have my letters that I drew and I kind of did in a style where they look like music-esque notes or symbols or something like that and then I drew all of my lines all the way through um, but yeah I think this page was one of the few I didn't mess up anything on I was really happy with the way this page turned out as well um, <laughs> so I kind of did the lettering by looking at other things that I could find on Pinterest or the internet. Um, there weren't really many things that I could look at to figure out lettering for it, so I kind of just made some stuff up. I do not like that silver tracker part. I would have changed that and just did black or maybe another color but in a a pin instead of a marker um, and then on this page I have my health tracker as usual and I decided to try out a different layout for my water tracker if you've seen any of my other videos you'll know that I usually will draw individual water bottles or cups or whatever I'm doing for that month usually water bottles but I uh, if you've seen any of my videos from 2021 of my bullet journal you'll see that I have been playing around with my water tracker and changing the design of the cups but I decided to try this really big water bottle and then just highlighting across how much I drank don't like it I hate it I really hate it I like the other layout better so this is the only time you will see this I go right back to it in March um, and that video will be coming out right after this one I have been in the process of moving uh, so I haven't had as much time to uh, film and edit the videos as I would have liked. I got them filmed, but then I've been packing and cleaning and, oh my gosh, doing all of these things for the past like month and a half on top of like work. Um, oh, this is a page that I messed up. I did the lines wrong. Usually I mark at the top and bottom where the lines will be. 
but I was like, oh, it's just three lines over or whatever for each one, and then I messed it up, and so now there's that ugliness right there. I messed up something at the top, so I put the washi tape sticker on there, the watermelon pattern one, to try to like disguise what I did. Also, I wrote habit instead of health on this page. That's what I messed up on that page. This page, I messed up the lines. Um, and I tried to cover up the top part with the watermelon washi tape. My word tracker, I think that one turned out fine. I did a different layout for this one. I think I started it here. Where, um... No, 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 no. I did the regular thing. In March, I have a different layout for the word count tracker. So then here, I decided to separate all of my trackers. So I have a separate mood and task tracker. They're not combined anymore. And on this page, originally, this was going to be my task tracker and my task manager on the other page. But I was like on autopilot and I accidentally wrote mood tracker at the top at the end of this so that kind of got messed up and that made me really mad because my pages were out of order from what I usually do with them um, but it wasn't like a super big deal but I had already like laid out I think stuff to do on the next page for the other stuff that that I then had to erase and read you on this one and this page I messed up my spacing for the when did I last my that page? I messed up my spacing when I was writing my categories next to the dates. And that drove me insane because they were, you'll see when I get to this last one, it's not, uh, in the photos you'll see it's not even. And that just drove me insane all week, week, the entire month. Um, so this was originally supposed to be my mood tracker which now became my task tracker, but because I had originally written it to be the mood tracker, I still had all the faces on it, and I wrote over them, not realizing my mistake until the end, and then I had to go back over it, and I put like washi tape on it to cover up the faces, and I wrote my letters on it with like a colorful pen or something, and it didn't really, uh, stick out or anything but it was fine I knew what my colors were but yeah so that was really annoying just every single page I messed something up and it was really frustrating uh, well I have plans to redo some of these like I thought the piano tracker was super cute I will definitely do that again but I will do it as a mood tracker like I had originally planned to. And then over here I have my task manager with all of my different things that I plan to do for the month and things that I have to do every week. And then we have my weekly calendars, my planners, whatever you want to call it. I brought the piano thing in. I saw a really cute thing on Pinterest where someone did a piano. So I did that on these pages. It was super cute and I really liked that. So here we have our photos, the finished products. I recently got some metallic pins that I was really excited to use. And this is the first month that I used them on. So on my clarinet page, I have those pins on there and stuff. Or the, yeah, whatever. But anyways, I have metallic silver on my clarinet keys. That's what I was trying to say. But as you can see, the video is over. Thank you for watching and listening to my rambling. March is going to be so much better. I already have the video filmed. It's it's currently March 15th when I'm filming, the, when I'm editing this right now. So I've been using it. But yes, so look out for that immediately after this one. Thank you for watching. Have a good day, night, or whenever it is you're seeing this. Bye!